um, I am going to, or we're going to do a lesson on our grammar for this week. And um, have it here. Our grammar for this week is the 3.5.1. 3 um, and we're talking about have, has, and had. So we're talking about um, irregular verbs, okay? Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen like always. Um, oh, I can share two. Okay, well, for now. Okay, so you should see, kind of like we do in school on your screen where it says have, has, and had, um, and it's a little overview of it. Um, so ha the words have, has, and had are irregular verbs. Um, and have, <clears throat> excuse me, have and has tell about present time. So they tell about what's happening now, what's happening in the present. And had tells about um, what's happened in the past. So the past time, it's already happened. Um, so when we have the, sub when the subject is a singular noun and singular means one, so when it's he, she, and it, we use has and had. So like he has a car, she has a purse, um, it has, um, I can't even think of a sentence for it has. It has been a good day, okay? So when it's singular, we use has and had. When it's um, a plural noun, and plural means that it is the subject is more than one. So we um, we had so happened in the past. We had school off last Sunday, or they have a lot of dogs. They have a lot of cows. So it's talking about more than one. It's a plural noun. Um, or more than one person. So that is um, have, have, has, and had. And what's on my screen is on your very first page here, um, which can help you out. And it tells you what have, has, and had are. They're irregular verbs. It tells when to use them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, and I am going to do this. Oh, and we have a little green line over it, but you can still see what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so we're just going to do a little practice with the verbs, which ones we need to use correctly, or which one correctly fits in the sentence? So number one says, Chad blank a dentist appointment today. So we are talking about just Chad, one person. So is it Chad has a dentist appointment today or Chad have a dentist appointment today? It is Chad has a dentist appointment today. Oh, and I can't, I wonder if, I never used this before, so. I wonder if I can draw on it. Whoops. It looks like I can. Oh, but with my. Oh, there we go. Whoa, Chad has. Um, okay, sentence two. We blank many chores to do this weekend. Well, it's talking about we. So a group of us, more than one person. So is it, we have many chores to do this weekend or we have many chores to do this weekend? It is we have many chores today. We're talking about more than one um, person. Where, bear with me. Where did that little, oh, no, there we go. 
Woohoo! We have um number three. Number three says Lydia blank fun bowling last night. But we're only talking about Lydia and Lydia's, you know, one person, it's a singular noun. Does, is it Lydia has fun bowling last night or Lydia had fun bowling last night? Again, we're talking about one person and it's talking about last night. It's already happened. It's, it's in the past. Um, so it would be Lydia. Da, 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 da. And this is my pause for you to say it at home. Lydia had fun bowling last night. So we would circle that. Perfect. Um, and sentence four. Our dogs blank to get a bath yesterday. So first thing we're talking about yesterday, we're talking about the past. We're talking about dogs more than one. So our dogs had to get a bath yesterday or our dogs have to get a bath yesterday. It would be our dogs. Had to get a bath yesterday. And we would circle that. Perfect. So that is have, has, and had. Um, on page two in our grammar packet on um, 3.5.2, um, I am going to go over that as well because we're not only this week talking about have, has, and had, we're talking about do, does, and did. So let's have that come up on our screen. So um, do, does, and did are again irregular verbs, okay? And when we, we use do and does to tell about present time, oh, was my screen not shared? Oh, because, okay, one second here. There. Perfect. Should be shared now. I hope. Mm -hmm. um, so do, does, and did are irregular verbs. Use do and does to tell about present time. So what's happening now. Use did to tell about something that happened in the past. Um, so again, when we have a singular noun, um, just one person, for the present tense, we use does, and for the past, we use did. So he did his homework. Um, or sh it's really hard to think of sentences on the spot. Um, she does her homework, okay? She's doing it right now in the present. Um, and then when we have a plural noun, more than one person, we use do for the present and did for the past, okay? So did is always in the past, whether it's a singular noun, one person, or a plural noun, more than one person. Um, we're gonna do some examples of that. And we're gonna do a new one of these, like that. There we go. Okay, so again, we're gonna circle the answer that makes the most sense to complete our sentence. Um, sentence one says, yesterday the children blank homework. So we're talking about yesterday. We're talking about the children. So we're talking about more than one child. Um, so does it make more sense? Yesterday the children does homework or yesterday the children did homework? I hope at home that you're saying that yesterday the children did homework. You are correct. Sentence two, now we blank our favorite exercises. So they're talking about right now, present tense. They're talking about we, more than one person. So what makes the most sense? Now we did our favorite exercises, or now we do our favorite exercises? Da, 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 da. At home, I hope you're saying now we do our favorite exercises. It's in the present tense. We're doing them right now. Um, sentence three, Jana blank gymnastics every day. So what is she doing every day? Jana do gymnastics every day, or Jana does gymnastics every day? Jana does gymnastics every day. Day. We're going to circle that. Um, last one, the airplane blank not arrive on time last night. So we're talking about last night. Um, we're talking about just one airplane. It's not airplanes, it's airplane. 
Um, so was it the airplane do not arrive on time last night or the airplane did not arrive on time last night? And I hope at home that you are saying the airplane did not arrive on time last night. So that's what we're doing for grammar this week. Uh, we're talking about have, has, had, do, does, and did. Um, yeah, that is all we are doing for grammar. We're going to practice on that because that helps when we get into our, when you guys get into writing and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching.